Hi, I'm Joe Bagley and this is VMware Throwdown. This is where I get to ask the questions that some dare not ask and hopefully get the answers that some dare not give. Today I'm here with Chris Wolf. He's the VP that runs the Advanced Technology Group here at VMware in the office of the CTO. And he's an expert in pretty much everything. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thanks, Joe. Looking forward to it. Okay, so let's dive straight in. Today we're here to talk about the fact that ML and AI, right? Everyone's been talking about it forever. It's been going on for what, 50, 60 years, but is anything really happening? Why are we still talking about it? Well, there's, there's plenty of hype out there, but at the same time, we're seeing a lot of our customers doing far more just along the lines of local inferencing and using machine learning technologies to uh, have more automation and to make more uh, smart business decisions. So are, are robots really gonna take over the world with all this AI? Should we be scared? Well, I think that's your position, isn't it, Joe? I think I've seen that on Twitter. <laughs> I think they won't. I, I, I totally think we should be embracing the whole thing. But I mean, Tesla keep claiming they're going to do autonomous driving. Do you think we're going to get there ever? Without question, I think we're going to get there. I, 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 would, I would put some of the autonomous vehicles today up against some of the humans in my family that already have driver's licenses. <laughs> that's a fair enough point. I'd definitely give you that one. You know, there's a lot of money and budgets out there. We've got customers that they're all talking about AI and ML, but are any of them actually doing anything? Yeah, there's a lot of organizations that are doing some fairly interesting things, whether it's retailers looking to be more automated and understanding when inventory is low on a shelf. You know, there's stores here where robots are inspecting for safety issues, such as, uh, you know, spilled milk in the aisle. This work is already happening, and then it's just going to continue to progress. So GPUs, CPUs, all manner of weird PU things. What's going on in that space? Why are we hearing so many different terms all to do with ML and AI farms and stuff? Yeah, well, it takes an incredible amount of processing power to drive these analytics and to make these decisions. And some of the pushback you're seeing or some of the controversy around this is, wait, VMware is trying to virtualize GPUs. We're trying to make it so that you can share GPUs remotely over Ethernet. And then there's folks saying, well, wait a minute, isn't this going to hurt the GPU industry? And I would say absolutely not. Making GPUs more accessible to all of these different ML and analytics and inferencing applications, you're going to see even more demand, which is going to help the vendors in this space to, again, sell more hardware. So NVIDIA or Intel, who's who's won in, in AI and ML? You really want to put me on the spot here, don't you, Joe? Who do you think has won? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I'm going to go with NVIDIA. I've got a, a fairly good head start, I think. But general purpose CPUs are being used more and more for some of the simpler ML and, ML and AI stuff. So I, I think they've both got a, you know, a play in this race. What a very safe and diplomatic answer there, Mr. Bagley. I, I really appreciate <laughs> that. I would say right now we're seeing lots of traction for NVIDIA. I think at VMworld this year, we're pretty excited about what, we, what we've been able to announce with NVIDIA as well. And to your point, there's so much that we're doing with Intel. So it's it's not even a two horse race. So I hear a lot about ML and AI and it's all at the top end developers playing and building cool stuff. If I'm just an infrastructure guy, why should I care about ML? Well, you have to care about ML because these types of applications are going to run on your infrastructure. They're, they're IO intensive, they're compute intensive, they're memory intensive. And you're going to have to be responsible to A, size your systems to account for that. And at the same time, there's lots of more hardware devices that are coming online that are providing these capabilities. And at the end of the day, somebody has to manage them. Somebody has to secure them. Cool. So you've made it this far. Now it's time for the bonus question. We know your favorite TV show is Jersey Shore, but who's your favorite character? Are you kidding me, Joe? Keeping up with our Kardashians is being canceled after X number of seasons. Oh, I mean, how are you handling that? I dearly miss seeing Kanye. I, I, I'm missing seeing so much of him in the press. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. It's been great getting to the bottom a little bit here on what's going on with ML and AI and some of the cool stuff that's going on in the future. Cheers. Always fun talking shop, Joe, but I think we just scratched the surface here.